Uh, Ravi Shankar ji, I'll do a quick cross tab of the number of respondents as an aggregate who said they voted for the BJP because of Prime Minister Modi. In uh, Gujarat, in Gujarat, this number stands at 12% overall. 19% of BJP voters said they voted for BJP because of Modi, but 12% of the overall voters. In the Himachal Pradesh elections, 10% uh, of overall voters said they voted for uh, BJP because of Prime Minister Modi and 19% of BJP voters said they voted. One in five who voted for the BJP voted for the BJP because of Modi. In the MCD elections in Delhi, 14% uh, of the overall voters said they voted for the BJP because they voted because of Prime Minister Modi and 34% of the BJP voters, one in three BJP voters said they voted for the BJP because of Prime Minister Modi. Now that is very good from one perspective that you've got this Lionel Messi who uh, can take his team single-handedly to power. The problem though is that your MLAs have a lot of anti-incumbency. The state governments don't seem as powerful or as popular as the Prime Minister, which means if, if Messi doesn't fire, then BJP has a problem. You one, one third of those who voted for you in MCD are saying they voted for Prime Minister Modi. They're not voting for your ticket, Parshad Kone, MLA Kone, they're voting for Prime Minister Modi. How do you look at this and analyze this, sir? Well, my reply is very straight and simple. Kindly don't mix up the voting approach, considerations and factors in a local body election like the MCD with a state or national elections. All of you are unanimously showing poll of poll that we are losing MCD. We were in power for the last 15 years. Maybe we have to pull up our socks if it ultimately results in... Though I don't believe we are going to have a washout as some of you are saying. I also have my feedbacks. But let's leave it there. What is important is that yes, MCD is important. We have to work hard. We'll work hard if the projections are ultimately concretizing to results. But the larger issue of state elections and national elections. Rahul, Kamal, if I ask Hindi, if our leader is a local leader, what is your problem? What is your problem? It's a very good thing. No, no, it's a very good thing. It's a very good thing. परेशानी ये होती है रविशंकर जी परेशानी नहीं एनालिसिस होता है यू वर देर अरे राजदीप जी राजदीप जी थोड़ा राजदीप जी नो नो यू स्टार्टेड योर पॉलिटिकल करियर राजदीप जी जरा करा थोड़ा you started your political career when Indira Gandhi was in her pomp you remember what happened to the Congress after Indira does it worry you that you put all your eggs in Mr Modi ji's basket that he is the one who lifts you up does that worry you or you believe that's the way it should be Mr. Rajdeep Sardesai, let me be very blunt to you. Is it fair on your part that on a day when you are showing such extraordinary results of Gujarat because of Modi ji's leadership also, you start questioning again what will happen in future? It will be very okay in future too, okay? okay. Kindly see the rise and rise of BJP and it will continue to be the rise and rise of BJP. Fair enough. But what here's, here's I was the talking fact. to Rahul Kaval yes. and that is very important. <laughs> Rahul Kamal, what is my point I'm trying to tell you is this, that this whole tectonic shift in the political consciousness of India, and whenever I come on programs like this, I really love to talk on those larger narratives. I have been an ardent advocate of the study of India's democratic awakening. I have been in charge of eight states of India on behalf of my party, being a student activist, being a uh, pupil of Lok Nayak, Jay Prakash Narayan, who ingrained in the people of India that you can change even the world to the power of your vote. Today, you must understand this tectonic shift in the thinking. And what is that? Achha kaam karoge, phir jitayenge tumko. anti incumbency gone. Kharaab kaam karoge, namaste karenge. And your party must be stable. You have given a vote for 5 years, do your work, 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 do your work. Okay, thank you very much, Ravi Shankar Ji. And therefore you see the results. Ravi Shankar Ji, we are going to get you again on the 8th. So thank you very much for joining us. I want to go across very quickly to Harsh Sangvi. Harsh Sangvi is the bright young star of the BJP in Gujarat. Diamond merchant turned BJP Home Minister. He has 10 portfolios plus 
in the Gujarat cabinet. Joining us now, ardent cricket player as well, sports minister too of Gujarat. Harsh Sangvi ji, who you were saying when we met in Surat, that the BJP record is going to come. It seems that the 2002 of Narendra Modi, the 127 seats, वो इस बार बीजेपी तोड़ने वाली है हो सकता है कि आप माधव सिंह सोलंकी के 1985 के रिकॉर्ड को भी तोड़ सकते हैं कैसे देख रहे हैं आप इस एग्जिट पोल को देखिए देखिए 20 साल पहले राहुल जी मोदी जी ने जो गुजरात के विकास के लिए संघर्ष और साहस की शुरुआत की थी गुजरात के नागरिकों ने मोदी जी के साथ ये संघर्ष और साहस की यात्रा में आगे निकल चुके थे मोदी जी ने ही ये नीम को रखा है और आज ये बड़ी एक इमारत बनने जा रही है आज गुजरात की जनता और भारतीय जनता पार्टी साथ में मिलकर एक नया इतिहास लिखने के लिए तैयार हो चुकी है 8 दिसंबर को गुजरात के नागरिकों की भव्य विजय होने वाली है गुजरात में भारतीय जनता पार्टी और गुजरात के नागरिकों की गुजरात की खुद की सरकार एक ऐतिहासिक आंकड़ों के साथ ये वक्त सरकार बनने भारतीय जनता पार्टी की आगे निकल चुकी है नहीं आप कहने कह रहे थे मुझे सूरत में कि आपका रिकॉर्ड नहीं खुलेगा मैं आपको लिख के दे रहा हूं कि आपको कुछ नहीं जीरो आने वाला है नौ से इक्कीस सीटें और बीस परसेंट वोट आ थर्ड रहे आ रहा लास्ट रहे लेकिन जहां आप थे ही नहीं वहां पे बीस परसेंट वोट निकाल के लाना भी वो भी बीजेपी के खिलाफ वो आसान है नहीं कि आपको लग रहा है कि दो का जो असेंबली इलेक्शन होगा उसमें आप, आपको टक्कर दे पाएगी या कम से कम आपकी प्रिंसिपल ऑपोजिशन बन जाएगी देखिए राहुल जी मेरी आपसे विनती है कि आजकल गुजरात में वो लेटर लेटर गेम बहुत चली थी वो लेटर्स आप जरूर से पढ़ना वो लेटर्स पढ़ोगे तो आंकड़े क्या कहे जा रहे थे और 8 दिसंबर को खाता खुलता या नहीं वो स्पष्ट हो जाएगी राहुल जी गुजरात की जनता बहुत भावुक जनता है हमारी गुजरात की में एक परंपरा रही है कि आप खाने के समय आओगे तो हमारे मध्यम वर्गीय परिवार में भी आपको खाना खिलाएंगे दो रोटी बनी होगी तो एक आपकी और एक मेरी होगी लेकिन उसका मतलब यह नहीं होता है कि घर उनको दे लेते हैं हम भावुक जरूर है हम मूर्ख नहीं है 